every single opponent, and I think that creates the mentality that you have to have in your program. But you kind of touched on this. Well, I mean, it, same for them, though. I mean, it's a college football playoff. I mean, it is what it is. But, you know, we're here because we're. it's mandatory that we got to sit here for an hour. Uh, we're not here just hanging out. Uh, it was just on our itinerary, and that's just we follow our itinerary. We've got a very structured um, formula in place to how we get ready. So this particular game, we got a couple other media. We didn't, it's not any different than last week. Except, and then last week, we're staying on the beach. I mean, we're riding jet skis and playing beach volleyball and looking at bikinis all over the place. Uh, we were the only team to be on the beach in a week in Miami, uh, and we played pretty good, you know? So, you know, we, we follow that too. Okay, this is where we are right now. This is what we do. Let's go talk to the media, and then we're gonna leave here. We're gonna go to the stadium, and then we're gonna have practice today. And when we go to work, we work. Uh, we clock in, and, and we get our mind on our business, and, you know, these guys wanna play well. They take pride in their performance. You know, you don't, you don't luck up and win 17 in a row. Uh, and so it's really not any different for us. He's a grinder uh, when it comes to, you know, preparing himself. He really is. He's a big-time grinder. He loves to study the tape, and, and he's relentless in that. I mean, there's a lot of nights that, you know, I'm walking out at 9 or 10 o'clock at night. He's sitting in, in, in one of the coaches' offices by himself watching tape. Uh, he just he just loves to do that. Uh, well, I mean, again, I, I think at the end of the day, everybody just has to be who they are. You know, I I, I don't. I mean, to me, it would be sad to come up here and, and, at a national championship setting and be all stressed out. You're stressed about what? You know, I mean, I'm too blessed to be stressed. Uh, I mean, I really am. I mean, uh, this is a, such a joy and a privilege. I mean, I'm coaching football at a place like Clemson. I got a great group of young men. Uh, we're, we're in Arizona playing for the national title. Um, you know, it's just I love what I do and I always have, and, and I, I don't I don't try to hide that. Uh, I don't I don't think you gotta come up here and and act like you're miserable or something. Uh, I mean, that's just not who I am, and so I just try to be consistent uh, with my team and whatever setting that I'm in. But uh, I hope that they have some fun along the way too, because they don't know what they don't know. It's such a small moment in their life. I mean, we all know how short four or five years is in the span of your life and they don't but I, I do and I, and I want them to look back on their time at Clemson and um, you know they'll remember some wins and losses but I really want them to have had a great experience and to have enjoyed the people they were around. Uh, well I just think it just kind of helps us take another step up the mountain. I mean, it just kind of further solidifies who we are as a program. Again, uh, you know, we're not a, a you know, a, just a flash in the pan. I mean, we've been incredibly consistent. Nobody really pays any attention to that. Uh, but uh, for whatever reason, you know, so it just further solidifies what we've been doing at Clemson for seven years recruiting you can come to Clemson and do anything you can I mean we got like 38 guys in the NFL right now uh, you know we we've, we've had 120 seniors since I've been the head coach 114 of them are graduates uh, we've been six out of seven years top 10 academically we've had about every national award we, we were a little close a little short on the Heisman this year uh, but we've done it all uh, so there's really nothing that you can't accomplish in our program, and uh, and we, we we've beaten. You know, well, when I first got the job, well, you're Clemson, you play in the ACC, you don't beat anybody. Well, check our record versus the SEC. Check our record versus all the big games. You know, we we we've, we've been very consistent. Uh, we've built our program from the inside out, and it's slowly changed on the outside. And uh, we've just kind of been laying in the weeds for seven years just doing what we do and uh, you know that's why we're here we're not here because of what happened this year we're here because of what's happened for seven years and building the foundation of our program but 
you know, to be here to win this game, it's just, it's just another. It's the next step. That's really all it is. It's the only thing we haven't done, and we got a big challenge. I mean, you you, you got to slay a dragon Monday night. Now, I mean, this is this is the, this is a lot easier said than done, and everybody knows that. Uh, you know, when you're going to try to beat Alabama, but uh, you know. That's the way I would want it, and if it doesn't go our way, we're going to stay relevant. We're not going away. Uh, so I think that just again, it just kind of maybe takes people, uh, makes people on the outside take a little bit closer look to what we've done as a program and the consistency that we've had because it's really been remarkable, remarkable. Well, I think I think I think we. we that's just again a product of uh, the past, you know, and, and maybe maybe kind of earn that, uh, but you know people aren't doing their homework, you know. When when you, I mean, we, we played Ohio State; they were twenty four and one. Uh, well, we beat them. We played LSU; we had no chance to win. Well, we won. Beat Oklahoma two years in a row. We're, we're not supposed to win any of those games. Uh, we beat Auburn. We beat Georgia. Uh, we, but that's what you have to do. You just have to kind of be consistent. You know, when we won the league in 11, we hadn't won 10 games at Clemson since 1991. And uh, so that kind of got it going for us. We, the first two years, we kind of laid the foundation. And then in 11, you know, we won the league for the first time in 20 years, won 10 games, and that was a big deal. We were a little – we weren't consistent down the stretch, but we took some steps as a program. And, uh, uh, you know, since that time, I mean, we've been as consistent as any team in, in, the, in the world. Well, I, 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 again, well, that speaks to our conference. I mean, this, we've had – Two out of the last three national championships, we've had an ACC team here, and uh, you know, three years in a row, we've had an ACC team in the hunt with, with Florida State being in the playoff last year. Uh, but Florida State's in our division, and if you don't go undefeated in our division, you probably aren't winning it. Uh, so, it, 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 and you got to win your league to really have a chance. So, we, we've been this has been a battle with us in Florida State. Uh, we, we've won the division four times. We've played for the championship three times. Uh, they've had the others uh, since since then over the last seven years, uh, but they're a great program and they've proven that. They've had a Heisman Trophy winner. I mean, they won the national championship. Uh, that's just that's the way it is. But you know, this year we were able to you know make a few plays that we hadn't made in the last couple of years.